All right, I've got a weird smattering of different titles for you lately to read. Uh, and that's what I've been reading. I, I try to vary what I read just so I like don't get caught in a rut. And as a writer myself, I'm a comic writer, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, you know, I want to not just be stuck in the same superhero fair mindset so that I get kind of a different perspective on the story craft uh, from, from some of the greats. And EC Comics really was the greatest of the greats, if you guys are aware of that. This is MD. Uh, from the EC Archives. This is the most recent one to come out. They're almost finished printing these archives from Dark Horse Comics. I'm, I'm still missing, uh, I think, 22 volumes of it, which is a lot, but I have 28 volumes of it. I think there's 50 or something out at this point. And uh, really fun stuff. This is from the early 50s. EC Comics was the gold standard of art and storytelling back in the day. And what happened was, uh, in 1954, there was a congressional edict that came down because of uh, the Corruption of, of the Youth, uh, which which came from this guy named uh, Dr. Wortham. Dr. Wortham came out with a book called Seduction of the Innocent, and it riled everybody up about comic books. Uh, and EC was really pushing the boundaries of horror quite a bit uh, and concerned a lot of people. So EC dropped their uh, all their line, uh, and they rebooted everything uh, into something that was a little more palatable, quote-unquote. Uh, so MD is one of those lines, which is just uh, stories of doctors. You get these nice EC Archives hardcovers, which contains five issues of MD before it got canceled, and uh, and has a nice little dust jacket. Art on the outside is same uh, as the dust jacket, and you get the this little like doctor paper on the inside right here. You get a nice little introduction about the EC series and what went down historically, and here we are, MD, uh, and this is part of their new direction line they called it, uh, and it starts off with like a history of medicine. Uh, sort of story. You can see just the beautiful art, just like absolutely stunningly beautiful art. Uh, now, the, the colors have been redone uh, uh, by, by a modern group, and uh, so you do not get the original colors in this, uh, but the original art, uh, I think they did a really good job on the colors uh, restoration on this. I like this a lot. There are different versions of the EC reprints that are in black and white, and I, I prefer this, to be honest. So... Uh, but yeah, expressive faces, beautiful stories. This is about a little girl who's like, you know, trying to, trying to get better here. Every one of these issues has a story uh, about a historical doctor who like, you know, did some great feat or something like that uh, through here. And this is, this is one about a guy who developed <laughs> anesthesia, basically. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, this is, the next story is about one, a, a guy who, um, can't pay his bills and yet the doctor comes to his house anyway can you imagine this is all stuff that doesn't happen in 2021 <laughs> but it's really cool you get you also get uh, advertisements in here a lot of different artists there's uh, four or five different artists uh that cycle through here joe joe orlando is one of them r crandall is another one of them some of them are not uh labeled and i'm not sure who they are but uh all of them are just high quality like beautiful work on the faces Beautiful expressiveness, uh, you know. Early on, the first couple issues of stories, they kind of get into the, like, you know, doctor stuff where they're not showing much because they're not allowed to show blood and all that because of uh, the new direction. But all the, you know, they, they got the montage of the doctor going knife, scalpel, clamp, you know, and, and they do that a lot in these early stories, in the early ones. But by issues three and four, they really get into some more interesting stories like past like the very generic stuff. I do like the beginning they, of every one of these. They have a diagnosis, leukemia, procedure. And they did that. Uh, they dropped that by the fourth and fifth issue also. But that was kind of a neat thing um, as, as you kind of are aware of what you're going to get into uh, through the stories here. Gosh, the art's so pretty through this. Some of it can get a little bit wordy. Uh, I, and you can kind of... The, the dialogue boxes on top, you can kind of skim past some of these at some point. They do get a little repetitive uh, with the doctors. Uh, this one's a neat one where, where they're trying to hunt down some cure. Uh, and there's this quack doctor like feeding weird like wolf gut soup, you know, to try to, try to do things. Um, pretty fun. Here's the, here's the whole list. Of, they got the advertisements for their different books in here, too. And here's all their new direction from their uh, Comics Code approved EC Comics. Very bizarre uh, time. And uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed the whole thing. I think it does get a little better towards the end. Uh, they get a little bit more creative uh, about the, the storytelling, uh, where at the beginning they were very much like, here's the case, here's the doctors doing their thing, you're all better now. 
Uh, and it is a little like that all the way through, but they get a, this one's a bizarre one. Okay. Uh, I'll talk about this one for a second. I don't want to go over every story just because it'll get repetitive in the review too. But this is interesting. You get the letters columns too. Uh, they printed par portions of the letters, which are all pretty much puff pieces about how great this magazine is. Uh, not 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 quite as interesting as the stuff you see in the Marvel letters columns in those from the 60s or 70s, but still still cool. Uh, all right, so this one is literally somebody's depressed and, and the doctor's going to give him like electroshock therapy. And he does. They, they like straight up hold him down and torture him in here. Like, for real. <laughs> and and then you're all better now at the end. Of like, holy crap. I guess they, I, you know, but, uh, they thought that was a good thing back then. Pretty interesting. Uh, there gets to be a series of stories in here where, like, it revolves around car accidents. You can see the comics code seal right there. And uh, in issues three and four, there's, like, three uh, car accident stories back to back. I don't know why they did that. Uh, it it kind of I was get, I was getting to the point where it's like okay I, I'm I'm getting bored with this at this point, uh, but then it gets a little better as it shifts up the stories again, and the final issue probably is the best one storytelling wise. You get some neat stuff through here, and it culminates with a story about a um, hospital that's run out of power and they're trying to trying to like keep somebody's lungs going in the middle of the night without without any power and so they're manually respirating somebody all night until power is restored in the morning pretty cool so beautiful art again all the way through the art is just phenomenal to look at uh not a ton of action in it obviously because it's a it's like a medical procedural deal but well worth the read uh ec comics just no matter what you get uh it, you get something different every time and it's really just a treat to read and uh, I like that they were experimenting with different types of storytelling, different types of, uh, you know, heroes uh, in their books and all that. And MD is a solid read in that line. The construction of the book is awesome. Dark Horse does a wonderful job with these hardcovers. I can't recommend them enough. 10 out of 10. Read these. Read EC. Read your history of comics. All right, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.